We have a document that we're working on in the lower pane here, and the instructions are showing here. So the first step is to display the bookmarks. Click on File, Options, Advanced, scroll down to Show Document Content, put the check on Show Bookmarks, click OK. And you will see this I-beam-like symbol here. That is the first bookmark. So we need to navigate to bookmark one. And we're basically there right now. And, and you're going to put an indent of one inch on that paragraph where that bookmark is. And the reason it looks like two paragraphs were impacted is because is because this actually is an entire paragraph because of that shift enter instead of the regular enter. And now we're going to navigate to bookmark two. So you're going to do that by pressing and holding control key and pressing the G, you get the go to. We're going going to click on bookmark two and go there. So you can see there's the bookmark symbol there and our cursor is on it and we are going to put a hanging indent of one inch and you can see that's been done. Now we'll navigate to bookmark three and we're going to change this paragraph right here to small caps. So because small caps is font character formatting, we need to click this font dialog box. We need to select it all first and then change it to small caps. And now we're going to go to bookmark four and insert a section symbol at the beginning. So we'll go to four. You can see from this I-beam symbol here, this is our bookmark four. And we're going to put, actually it's right here, we're going to put a section symbol right there. So we're going to insert symbol, more symbols, special characters, and come down and find the section symbol and insert and you can close. And you can see the symbol there. Then we're going to navigate to bookmark five, which is here. And you're just going to take the text on that line and copy it. And then you're going to paste it at the top of the document. So you can select across here and then do your paste.